2022 has been a year. It's been a year, all right? It's been a year. My dog stepped on a bee. Now, back in 2020, we were told that we were living in unprecedented times. We were watching history being made. Crowd around with my chains on, she rocking all of my eyes. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know when these unprecedented times are going to end because I'm still watching history being made. Two years on. Girl, you want In the early parts of 2022, Will Smith caused chaos at the Oscars. Chaos. No, not my mate Oscar's house party, but the Oscars award show. Obviously. Nobody needs to know that I don't have a mate called Oscar. Nobody needs to know. Will Smith, if you didn't know, slapped Chris Rock. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, my goodness. Now, Will Smith got banned from the Oscars whilst Chris Rock got a sold out gig. What? What? He got slapped and suddenly got a sold out show. He only got slapped. It happens. <laughs> now this whole slap each other silly thing caused a lot of controversy, but not as much controversy as Harry Styles. Ooh. Chaos was caused when a video emerged showing Harry Styles allegedly spitting on his co-star Chris Pine. Now whether he did or whether he didn't, nobody knows. It's a big debate, but not as big as the debate as would you want Harry Styles to spit on you? I refuse to answer that statement. Who would have thought Harry Styles is the type of chav to go around spitting on people? Speaking of chavs, N-dubs announced their comeback. N-dubs are the goats. Thousands of roadmen up and down the country were ready to pull out their Paul's Boutique bag and Berghaus jackets and go and party with the N-dubs. Meanwhile, Gen Z were terrified of the chubby takeover. Like I'll smash all your heads in. James Corden suffered media attention. That's it. That's all I've got to say on that matter. Banned from a restaurant. It, it was never my intention. The UK suffered its hottest day in history. The UK has experienced its hottest day ever. Gary the plumber and dad of two knew instantly that this was his signal to take his top off, grab a pint of beer and say, lovely. He could then watch the football in peace, except this football had less balls in it. What do you mean by that? It was the women's Euros. I've come good Europe. Despite England's fantastic win, Gary the Plumber still prefers the men's version. I mean, come on, if you love football, and trust me, I love football, you enjoy football for the game, not just who plays it. <laughs> now let's move on to the segment of what's been happening in the news. What about the man on the news that nearly sneezed? Ah, uh, excuse me, I'm bad to sleep. I think I've got away with it. No, yeah, yeah, I think you got away with that one, yeah. Serious? Uh, excuse me, after the promise to send him a... This time, I think some people heard that one. Turns out our friend here at the BBC often sneezes. Ukraine is empty. <laughs> Excuse me, I do beg your pardon. I was trying to suppress that, not successfully. Anyone hungry? I'm going to admit to you that I've just had a little bit of croissant. Oh, I am sorry. We're going to have to stop there. We've just received some breaking news. Um, I'm going to admit to you that I've just had a little bit of croissant. So, and I'm just finishing it, and I'm ashamed to say that, but there you go. Oh, fascinating. This newsreader decided to rub the fact that Wales had lost straight into the Welsh football supporters' faces. Guys, sorry, you're live on Sky News. Your reaction to the win? Uh, we lost. Yeah, you might as well have just teabagged them whilst you were at it. Speaking of bollocks... Pfft. Well, to use non-technical -te term, that's pretty much bollocks. Channel 4 News was stuck in a debacle as to whether or not bollocks was a naughty word. On the Ofcom regulator website, it describes it as medium language, potentially unacceptable, less problematic when used to mean nonsense. Well, why didn't you just ask this woman? <laughs> Bollocks is not a swear word. I actually think bollocks is my favourite swear word. It's not even a swear word, we've just established that. Over on ITV News. Classic. In September, the Queen sadly died. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Just months after celebrating her Platinum Jubilee. The Platy Jubes, what a fantastic time. Happy platy jobs. Happy, happy, go on. Happy platy jobs. <laughs> Just two days before the Queen's death, she appointed her final Prime Minister, 
Let us trust, uh, Liz trust, sorry, yeah. The Queen leaves behind a fantastic legacy and the world is thankful for her service, but not as thankful as this church worker who dropped his papers at her funeral. He's thankful that nobody realised. A small piece of paper fell from a bishop's hand, which has now become known as Papergate. <laughs> People came running to start jumping at Phil and Holly, as they were seen queue jumping whilst the Queen was lying in state, allegedly. Should Phil and Holly be sacked from this morning for the Q Gate scandal? It's not the first time that Phil's been jumping on things. Oh, allegedly. Matt Hancock announced that he was going into I'm a Celebrity. Well, hello. Uh, I don't know what to say. Politicians never fail to give us entertainment. And then we're back and back and forward and back and let's go. Mixing and mingling with the likes of Owen Warner. Just from a place in the sun. Oh, where about? No, that's a TV show. Owen Warner's proper hilarious man. So what a year it's been. We've had the Sideman football match that left Chris MD questioning the theory of gravity. Go on, Chris, stop running away. I'll tell you what, he doesn't like it when Noah Beck comes after Stop him. running away from the bigger boys, you've got to take them on. The fire alarm going off on ITV's this morning. She did because she was the first woman to ever do. Oh my God, that's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> and again. And it can be quite overwhelming. You can end up... <laughs> You can we all have the same 24 hours in a day as our Molly May. Beyonce has the same 24 hours in a day that, that we do. We can do whatever we want with the 24 hours in the day that we're given. And Andrew Lee Page licked a tit. Is that what? He licked a tit. I licked a tit or whatever and... Oh, I love it. I love it. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, it means you get to see more of me. I don't know why you'd want to, but please do because it's lots of fun at this channel as you can see. So yeah, like and subscribe, all the best for the new year, and I will see you in the new year. So you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Yeah, you might as well have just teabagged them whilst you're at it, <laughs> every time.